Hey there, we're here at Seattle Fashion Week 2011 at the King Cat Theater downtown Seattle. I'm Cameron Johnson. I'm with VisualNoiseType.com. We have a special guest here with us tonight, one of the designers from the show himself, Mike with Dark Heart. Mike, thanks for being here with us. Tell me a little bit about where you got the inspiration for your line. Um, well, we started off with the t-shirt designs. Uh, it's kind of bold, going after that rock and roll look. But then we wanted to do something super dramatic. We always liked the post-apocalyptic look. But we wanted to mix it with some classic kind of early 1900s boxer from Boston style. Thick tweed pants rolled up, kind of trapped in the desert for days on end, just doing what you can to survive in a world where there's not much left, you know. So lots of textures, tires, it's a lot of recycled stuff. Um, some of the costuming was made uh, by a friend, Jack Lipke, uh, for a Burning Man festival. So we used a lot of that. Uh, also, uh, we had a designer, Ivan, do some of the armor, the shoulder pieces. And uh, luckily, we had some cool sponsors, John Fluvog for the shoes, and uh, Lucky Vintage in, C in the U District for all the, the vintage uh, pants and accessories and stuff. So also Invicta watches. That was really cool. So. I love that you do recycled products. So where do you get that from? Uh, pretty much just like junkyards, Goodwill, you know, anything where you can just find that sort of material. It's you just got to have the right eye for it. You know, seeing a, a piece of junk and then being like, no, that could be something. You know, if you if you look at it the right way. So. I think that's beautiful. So we might actually see Mike from Dark Heart out in the junkyard getting some old recycled tires for his line. It is possible. I'm busy, but if I can get to the junkyard, then yeah, why not? You know. So Mike, where are you from? Uh, I live in Bellingham, kind of been all over California, LA, you know, Central California, um, Seattle. Living in Bellingham though, so we're kind of based out of Bellingham. Okay, so what is your main goal for your fashion line? Main goal really would just be to get it out there. Um, it's kind of our side project right now. We do video production on the side, so the clothing line is something that I've always wanted to do. and. I really like the trend of keeping it eco-friendly, recycled materials. I know there's a lot of stuff, consumerism happening that's, you know, kind of just detrimental to the environment. And I kind of like taking old stuff and turning it into new stuff and still making it trendy without having to go out and gather more goods to create it, you know. So what, what is your definition of Seattle fashion specifically? Ooh, Seattle fashion. I think it's... It's hip and not well known, but the music scene here is so great, so I always feel it's it's homeless chic. You know, like guys who can wear clothes for 10 days straight and still look like a rock star, you know? And there's so much stuff, like all the people here are really in tune with shopping at Goodwill, shopping at Value Village, just taking those recycled things and reliving that coolness from like the 70s or the 60s and making it modern, you know? hooking it up with modern accessories and turning it into something that's still cool, you know? I love that, homeless chic. Yeah, homeless chic. I, mean, I think that's great. Where can people go to get more information on your line? If you want to go get more information on our line, you can go to www.darkheartvisions.com. The store is getting built right now, so there will just be limited information, but facebook.com, darkheartvisions, search for it. You can see some of our looks, see where the stuff will be available at, stay in, stay in touch with, you know, what stores will be carrying the line and stuff like that. Well, thanks for being here with us, Mike. And that's darkheartvisions.com. Thank you for watching. This is Seattle Fashion Week 2011.